What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupinthesky.com and I'm going to show you something pretty interesting today. I, I put this uh, mosaic together and this is from Saul 550 and you are looking at the side of Mount Sharp and what appears to be an anomaly that has a U-type shape to it built into the mountain almost like it looks like a face of some sort but that is a total anomaly that's uh, I've never seen that happen in nature. Um, at least to be this perfect. Uh, wait till we back out and see it. It gets blended in when you look at the original pictures. Um, but if you, here's where I'm looking right here, along with all these buildings and everything and the roads leading up to it. This is an amazing shot. It's uh, pretty much NASA's coming out of the coming out of the coming out of the bag here. Just saying, you know, it is what it is. Anybody who wants to see can go ahead and see now. Um, as you can see, symmetry that runs up the mountain roads that come off of these roads, like right here. Um, an amazing shot, an amazing uh, area. Um, this is why they picked to drop it here. They've known this from, you know, we're just all the stuff we're seeing on the way up to it was like the fragments and stuff from, I think, whatever civilization was up here. And that, that would make sense if this lake, you know, Gale Crater, if this was water at one time or was a big, huge lake or something like that. Um, it's almost like the uh, road comes down to the water line here. But let me go ahead and back it out and show you guys what I've done here and uh, what I've made. And I'll show you that it's, uh, and that's the beautiful blue sky on Mars too, that it is beautiful blue sky. Uh, don't let anybody tell you different. And what I've done here is let me go ahead and I'll back it out, show you exactly how it comes from the rover and what it looks like. This is how the pictures come. And we're going to go ahead, I'll show you where it's at. Sol 550. Um, and I started here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I got these 10 pictures, lined them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'm missing one. Which one did I miss? I think I missed that last one. Nope, you know what? I must have missed. Nope, I missed one over here. So I, I didn't take it down as far as it could have gone. So I might have missed something over there. But that's what I got. Um, now, what I did there to get the color, basically, it looks to me like it's got a filter over it. Like somebody, they're manipulating it. The, either the rover's putting it on or it's putting it on at the uh, thing. And gosh, there's so many. We've looked at this before from different angles, but this is just amazing. The uh, the outer walls of the city here, the different buildings in the city, the rounded off buildings that look like, uh, you know, wagon, that type of shape to it, like the old wagons, the old ones that crossed, you know, out west here in America. Um, just amazing. Totally amazing. So what I did was I've always, uh, you can do it two ways. You can either open up, let me see if I can go ahead and get the uh, open recent. Let me pull this up. You can calibrate it with the calibration tool. This is what's on the rover. Basically, it gives you all the colors. Or you could go ahead and do it like I do sometimes with this auto color. Basically, let let Photoshop itself see, you know, take out what shouldn't be there and auto, you know, make it auto. And what it does, it turns it that beautiful blue. Um, didn't take much to do that. Then I did the auto contrast and just kind of bring it out a little bit. Um, but let me go ahead and I'll show you what it looks like when I do it with the other one. If I do the adjustments... And then we want to do match color, and we're going to do source. We're going to make it that strip right there, and there it is. Tell me that's not beautiful. <laughs> that's just gorgeous. Imagine sitting on that planet right there. Let me back it up. I'm sorry, guys, if I'm making you sick, but totally just beautiful. And this is the section we've been dying to. I've been dying to see down here where you know I'm. I'm what I want the rover to do now is turn the corner and start heading up that way. Um, so let's take a quick look here, you know, and uh, go through this. I've gone through this picture before, but not, we haven't gotten this good quality of it. Um, and just to show you, they, these are this was a huge civilization there. And if you doubt it now, you just can't see it in your own eyes. I mean, that's you who just can't see it. You know, NASA put it out there. They're not going to come out and say it. You know, go read the Brookings. Go type into Wikipedia the Brookings report on ET life, and you'll see why NASA won't say anything. But Here's the road. It looks like it went down to the water, and what still current currently looks like it's got some wet to it, you know. And it makes sense here, you know, these little pop-up buildings or whatever—not buildings, but uh, little pop-up parts that must, you know, they could have been little islands at one time. Um, but you know, if you go by what NASA says, they say that this is uh, three miles high, which it doesn't look three miles high to me at all. Um, but even starting here, look at the uh, the symmetry in these in these buildings. And if you go to ancient Egypt, you'll, there's pyramids that actually come and start like that and go, go up that way. Um, but as we, as you ride the road here, um, 
you know, this Mount Sharp Road, whatever they want to call it. There's just different uh, things you're going to get. You can see, first off, you're getting a lot of uh, the grainy. You see, like, all these little things are pixelations. So you can't say, you know, anything. This is the stuff we're looking for. Stuff like this that's very out of, you know, very out of place. This looks like a, absolutely looks like the base of a building at one time or something, you know, that had to do with the highway here. Maybe a, uh, you know, it's got something here. Maybe this was a boat ramp or a launch or something like that. That's just, I see what I see, you see what you see. Um it's even crazy how this just overlooked that. Like you could just see, like the you know, this overlooking the water and, and overlooking this whole thing. It had to been gorgeous at one time. Here in front of this little building here, you've got this that uh, it looks like fairly big. Uh, sorry, my phone's going off, guys. Smash the like button if you just looked at your your iPhone. <laughs> it looks like that's actually a pretty fairly big sized building, boat, something. It's you know whatever it was. It definitely looks like there's something there. Um, and if you said all of us probably see something a little bit different, you know, that's how you know, this is how this stuff works. You know, we all have you know different views on what we see, but I see a road that comes up here, and I see one splitting off here, going straight towards here, and then coming this way and heading up through that little pass there. And as you go up through the pass, you can even see that there's uh, what look like plots, you know, perfectly rectangular plots, and they're rectangular on an, uh, an angle, you know, from from the where the rover's taking the picture. Just like right here, it looks like a, a patch. And this looks like this stuff has actually been manipulated out of the picture at one point. Let me go ahead and let me step backwards and take the color off. So let's, let me go ahead and do it with the auto color. And uh, bring it out a little bit with the constant auto contrast. That really gets it that baby blue. Image, exposure, let me see what it, with the gamma. See if I can do it with some of the gamma here. And pull some of this out. All right, just to see. Now you can really see how that pulls that out. You can see how it's just going up the road. Okay, here's where the road takes off here. See, one goes this way, up through that way, and one starts going this way, up up, the, up the road here. Um, now this one keeps going up into this area, which seems to be, this is where we got that one anomaly, the uh, smiley face, I'm gonna call it, or whatever. Pretty amazing if you see. I mean, just for this to be random out there, this is just beautiful. Um, no way, not random. Um, this is one thing that my dad actually saw before he passed away, that uh, this was on the local news. They had the whole panorama. They did this before of, of Mount Sharp. And he looked down there, and he was always kind of skeptical with a lot of this stuff. And a lot of it ran by him, and he said, that is a road. I've seen roads. <laughs> he said, that is amazing. And uh, we pulled it up on the TV, and he said, wow. And you couldn't see this detail. You really couldn't see the, you know, this looks like bricks or something you know, that's been carved there. Um, and it looks like stuff, you know, at one point was here. And, and we know what happens some with the photo manipulation, too. A lot of this stuff gets blurred out. You know. So as this, I guess, the road moves up through here, you know, who knows? It just kind of winds up through this whole city. And here's what I say is looks like a city. And uh, everything around it looks like it's planned out like a city. Take a look. It looks like it's got pyramids on it. Look at that shape. That's a pyramid shape there. Um, now, see these things? This is just image uh, artifacts, like these one, two, three. Sometimes you don't see them in the actual video when they come through, but even down on here on the shore, there's some interesting things. But this whole area here just seems to have, uh, and a lot of people have covered this uh, this area. And there's other, I think there's a couple better, more quality pictures of it out there. But look at the, uh, the, the structures and stuff that are in here that are going up the mountain with it. This is huge. Um, this looks like a huge face that's here. There's another spot where the rover was way over here um, that got that face on, like, you know, straight on, and it looked just like a face. Um, and this here, to me, looks like a one of the old covered uh, wagon type. That's why I said one of those buildings. But that thing's got to be huge. And it just goes straight back, you know, rectangular, just totally cool, totally amazing. This looks like a wall that was built here, like this for a reason, for protection, for looks, for water, you know, who knows. But even down here, you've got more, let me back out a little bit, what seem to be those, here out here seem to have this this same building type over here. Um, where was the other stuff? So we looked at that, looked at that, said so that's, go back over here. Up here, that, that looked just like a pyramid right there. Um, here, it's just kind of awkward. You know, what is this here? This is something is, this is 
bigger than what the base is holding it. So that's pretty interesting. It almost looks like uh, something you'd find in Egypt. The symmetry of this, look, this goes up, around, over. It's almost like the roads just continue on and continue on. Um, and this type, I'm sure that with, the, with Mars, that this stuff has got sand all over it. Uh, who knows how pristine it actually is or how old it is. But uh, it definitely looks to like one of our megalithic societies here that we would have found on Earth. Um, to me, it does, at least. And I've said that a million times in my uh, videos. And as you look at it, I don't know. So let's go take a look at some of the other side of the mountain. Just interesting, the uh, like this here, I could just picture this down here being uh, running water or something along those lines. You've got, there's something that looks like a surfboard around here in the other pictures. Like I said, the rover is getting worse pictures as it gets closer. And since it has that little blur on it, I'm not going to get the best picture out of this. They, like I said, they've got some better ones of it, but not at this angle. These angles are different. Look, there's two buildings here, two something that look the exact same almost. And then if, as you see, like they just seem to have, when you give it that contrast to it, um, the, the stuff just kind of winds down like water was winding down or roads, which I'm more leaning towards roads. And look how this is perfectly like the See how these are perfectly lined out? Like I would imagine at one time this would be crops or something along, you know, this some sort of terracing or something where they'd be growing some sort of crop. You know, to me, that's what it looks like. If you would see a mountain here on Earth, um, who knows how it would be have to be done there and how stuff would grow, especially in that environment. I'm not one to say that you have to have the exact same um, principles that you have on Earth, the exact same experience here on Earth. You have to have somewhere else for order, you know, for our type of life to exist. Maybe for the exact type of life, but uh, you know, who knows how, you know, Mars put its stuff together. This is very interesting here. Now I'm not sure if this is an image artifact or not because it's in that range where it, it could be. But since it goes through three or four of these artifact boxes, I'm thinking that's just a big square opening. Pretty cool. Like I said, this is getting blurry um, as we go through. Um, said as you get closer and closer but if you look up the mountain even more would seem to be uh those those pyramid type shapes let's see interesting anything over here would look to be a storage or something beautiful old mount sharp interesting how that one turned in the, in the color how that uh looks some interesting symmetry right there on the side of the mountain almost looks like someone took a paintbrush to some of this and wiped out some of the features. I might actually go back and look at it. Oh, look, here we go. Here we got some more of the, uh, okay. Look at this perfect 90 degrees as it goes down there. And it looks like it's been blotched out by something right here. It looks like it's got, let me see if we can't do even more work on it. Image adjust. Let's see. Exposure. Um, see it there? So this looks like a pyramid of some sort, or at least a triangle, and in there was like the outline of something. And it's going along the uh, the slope there, so it's it's pretty well entrenched in. Pretty cool. I know, like I said, there's something here that's got like a triangle shape to it. Almost looks like a fairly big size building or something. This, this could have been a yacht. Said something on a yacht. This could have been boats at some point. Who knows? It, especially if this was water down here. Now that's an interesting shape of something there it looks more uh perfect just to be some simple rock but let me back on out i think that was pretty much all that i had for this video and so i wanted you guys to see that one opening one more here we see how it gets kind of blotchy and stuff where it gets interesting like uh it's, someone didn't want us to see what exactly that was but i imagine like i said the uh now, who knows how big the civilization was? It, it definitely draws my mind to think, wow, what could have been up there? This uh, picture, when I see these pictures, it's just, especially when it, all you have to do is hit the auto color in a, in a program that everybody could get a hold of. All, any, all you people know somebody who's got Photoshop who could do this. And you don't even need Photoshop. So many different programs do it, uh, especially free ones. Uh, but here, like I said, if you look at it from this end, where it's a lot, when you're looking back at it, you could just see, how stuff winds up as one piece through the mountain. Like this here is like a, either a part of the road or part of a wall. The buildings go up and down, and here's two perpendicular, perfect right through it. Perfect what seem to be, you know, triangles. And once again, you've got over here that smiling looking face thing, which I don't see nature doing. You've got this road kicking out that way. And everywhere you look, you seem to have 
these rectangular plots, you know, like either something was growing there or, or you know, something along those lines. So, anyways, guys, comment, hit like, share this on Facebook. Let's get this stuff out. Um, I'm going to link all these pictures below. No, I'm not going to link them each. Yet. I'm going to link this page right here. You guys can find these. I got faith in you guys. <laughs> Much love, guys. Take it easy. What's up in the sky at 37? It's your buddy, Will. Peace.